Audio quality can sometimes be an afterthought for creators, but it's just important to the final edit as the visuals. Getting good audio takes some effort, but it's well worth it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you six tips to get great audio every single time. My first tip is to use a high quality microphone. Just wait, I know you didn't click on this video for me to tell you to get a good mic. The truth is, almost always, the built-in microphone on your camera sucks, and you're gonna wanna get an external microphone for your camera. The good news is that you can get great microphones for like less than $60 now. The one I'm using is the Movo UM300. It's a USB podcasting microphone that gives you broadcast quality audio straight from the mic. Movo did not sponsor this video, but they did send me this product, but they're seeing it at the same time you are and all of the opinions in this video are my own. It's $60 and well worth it, but more on that mic later, let's get to my second tip, which is to try to avoid reverb. Reverb is caused by sound bouncing off hard surfaces like tile or hardwood floors. You can avoid reverb by filming in a room that has minimal areas for sound to bounce off of. Surfaces like acoustic foam or even bedding or carpet can do a great job at absorbing that sound and preventing it from bouncing around. If you want to create a space that is great for recording audio, you can just surround yourself with pillows and blankets to help dampen that sound. My third tip is to stay close to your microphone. When you get closer to the mic, you have to turn down the mic sensitivity to compensate. Since you are the closest thing to the microphone, when you turn that microphone sensitivity down, you'll be cutting out everything but your voice, which is exactly what we want. I really like this mic because it can just sit on my desk and be plugged in through USB. All I need to do is start recording and audition and the mic is like less than six inches from my mouth. Having the mic around that distance is ideal, but just try to get it as close to the subject as possible when you're filming. All right, tip number four, watch out for audio clipping. Audio clipping happens when the microphone sensitivity is way too high and it actually starts to lose detail and it sounds really distorted and ugly. A quick fix for that is just to turn down the mic sensitivity and if you want to you can even plug in headphones to monitor your sound. This mic has a headphone jack on the bottom so I can wear headphones and monitor my sound and make any adjustments if needed. In fact I can actually adjust the microphone sensitivity right on the microphone itself. So it's a very handy tool for making it easier to get good audio. My fifth tip is cutting out as much background noise as possible. Background noise is really distracting and it can really complicate the editing process. If you ever want ambience in the background, it can easily be added in post just like echo or reverb, but it can be really difficult to take that away. So just shut your door, close your windows, and turn off your computer if it has a loud fan. My final tip is audio adjustments in post. This process can vary from microphone to microphone, but generally what I do is cut out the lowest tones, raise up the medium low tones, and raise up the high tones just a bit to add more clarity into my voice. A lot can be done in post, so it's a good idea if you have the time just to make some adjustments to really make your voice sound as good as possible. Before we go, I want to talk just a little bit more about this microphone. Like I said, it's a USB condenser mic and it has fantastic quality. It can be cardioid or omnidirectional and you can switch between the two with a click of a button. It comes with a USB to USB-C adapter and conveniently a USB-C to USB-C adapter. Despite being only $60, it definitely doesn't feel cheap and it would be a great option if you want to get into podcasting or making YouTube videos. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. My name is Wesley. I create videos about the art of filmmaking and creating YouTube videos. So click one of the videos on the screen right now to learn a little bit more. But until next time, stay safe, stay creative.